Wait, 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 wait. All right, I'll put this away. Let me tell you why you should watch this video today. I'll be making another original cocktail of mine. It's a fruit forward, smoky, earthy, delicious concoction. So if you want to try something new and interesting and maybe learn a little bit about the ingredients that are not so common, stick around because we're going to boogie down. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. That's wrong. That's Vino's line. What is it I say again? Oh, right, 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 right. Let's make for whom the bells are told. A few weeks back, I made another original cocktail of mine, the Winter Tiki Cocktail, this one. In that video, I talk about how I like to challenge guests at the bar by creating cocktails that sound weird and using ingredients that they might not know or fully understand. There's always a risk with putting cocktails like this on your menu because they won't get ordered that much. But for the most part, both of these cocktails have been pretty successful. Anyway, it's the same thing with the cocktail I'm making today. I'm utilizing two ingredients that are not that well known, and I also use them in a pretty unorthodox way. You'll see what I mean in a second. So I'll be using China China as my base spirit of this cocktail. This product is what you call an amer. Amer means bitter in French, and this bittersweet liqueur is the equivalent of the Italian Amaro. It's infused with orange peels and other classic bittering agents such as cinchona and gentian. At 40% ABV, this liqueur is pretty high in alcohol, which is why I'll be using it as the base spirit of this cocktail. And this is what I meant before when I said I'll be using these ingredients in an unorthodox way, because I'll be using a liqueur as the base spirit. Usually, it's the other way around. You use a spirit such as tequila, vodka, rum, cognac, or whatever, predominantly, and then just have a little bit of liqueur. In this cocktail, it's the other way around. I'll be using a lot of liqueur and a little bit of spirit. So next up is Sotol. Sotol is both the name of the spirit and the plant it's made from. All also known as the desert spoon. This is an agave looking plant, almost like a sea urchin actually. And even though it has a pina and is produced almost exactly the same way as mezcal, it is technically not an agave spirit. With that said, the first time I tried it, I did describe it as a funky, earthy mezcal. Then we'll be using some orange bitters, some house-made grenadine, a splash of club soda just because this cocktail is pretty rich so you need a little bit of dilution, not really for the bubbles, and some fresh lemon juice. I'm going to start with two dashes of my orange bitters. Half an ounce of your grenadine. Three quarter ounce of your fresh lemon juice. Half an ounce of your sotol. And finally, one and a half ounce of your china china. I'm just gonna give this a quick shake and then serve it over ice with a splash of club soda. The name of this cocktail is a play on words from one of my all-time favorite Metallica songs, For Whom the Bell Tolls, which is on this album, Ride the Lightning. The song is inspired by a Hemingway novel with the same name, that later on turned into a movie. So now you know. So at first you get this fruit forward cocktail with the pomegranate from the grenadine and the lemon creating this kind of pomegranate pink lemonade if you will. But what really makes it interesting is the china china and the bitter orange and herbs that that adds. And then you have a slight hint of the funkiness and the earthiness from the sotol, which just all together work really well and makes this a super interesting little cocktail. And I really hope you try it. Now what I really want to know is what's your favorite Metallica song? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you soon friends. Cheers. Ba 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 ba